agreed. Uh, let's switch topics up into it. probably going to be me ranting. Um, so, uh, oh. Fu, God, be, prepared. <laughs> be prepared. Be prepared. Be <sighs> prepared. Be very Jesus prepared, Christ, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, shout out to Jason Cruz. Uh, is one of the best sort of combat sports lawyers to follow. Uh, from the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, ruling in favor of Povetkin and World of Boxing in the Deontay Wilder lawsuit. I still don't understand it. Hashtag sports law. The exact quote from uh, the ruling as it's loading. Let's try to scroll down here. Yeah, I 100% read that as like, you know, like coleslaw, like sports law. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> although a jury found that Povetkin uh, ingested a banned substance, the bout agreement did not, by its terms, require that the fighters refrain from ingesting banned substances. I believe the exact wording of that bout agreement was should. You shouldn't take banned substances. I believe this is the wording of the agreement. I might have it not exactly right with the other words, but I believe should was the specific phrasing word that the lawyer used as like, hey, it isn't specific language here that we can't uh, take performance enhancing drugs. And I just got to say, guys, I just got to say, I am yet, I don't know if this is particularly a WBC issue, but for fuck's sake, I'm going to make it one. For all of those that have, for now, what, a year now, Fu, Rob, like how long has the clean boxing program been around? Oh. A year? I'll, Two years? I'll look it up. Thank you. Look it up, please. Um, the mostly clean somewhat and look you everyone knows that has followed me from name redacted channel to this channel i've always been hypercritical of the clean boxing program for a litany of issues namely transparency and that's like a root cause of like a, bu a bunch of branching issues with the clean boxing program but if somehow the w wbc champion in a fight has in his contract that there's language that you can take performance tension drugs that it there's an allowance of it. It just says you shouldn't. You know, don't do it, please. But like you can. That's the language of the contract. And if, again, this is a connected to a WBC clean boxing program fight. And for all the Wilder haters, take Wilder out of the equation. Just this is the WBC issue right now. This is a PD regulatory issue at this point in time. How in God's green fucking earth do you expect? Uh, the premier sanctioning body to have a clean boxing program to have this sort of language in it and actually change the sport. So for all the PD zealots out there that are so strict when it comes to Canelo popping, whoever popping, but not Tyson Fury. No one's strict about Tyson Fury popping. I'm no one even brings it up. No one brings it up, but digressing, tabling that for maybe another fucking show. Um, how in God's green earth is this allowed? How in God's green earth are we to expect any sort of innovation, improvement, progression in PD regulation when the, quote, best program around is a fucking fraud, is phony, is a lie? I Again, guys, like, I, at some point here, I feel like I'm just yelling in a fucking, like, paper bag and, like, no one's listening to me. The clean boxing program is not a true... PD regulation program. And on top of that, VADA does have some issues. USADA does have some issues. Overall, the IOC and WADA have significant fucking inst uh, institutional systemic issues. So this doesn't surprise me at all that Povetkin's able to weasel his way out of this. I'm just shocked that he's the first one to do it, to be quite honest. Because I guarantee you this language is in almost every fucking contract out there. And fighters are just... They're not aware. They don't have the lawyers ready on deck to read these contracts, and they aren't aware of this. So for anyone out there talking about sanctioned bodies and PD regulation and clean boxing program like it's the fucking savior, um, sit down. Stay in your lane. Uh, and if you want to get the nerve to, to talk, only call in. I don't want to hear you in my chat in the comment section on these videos. You have zero right to talk unless you call in and actually debate like a real person. Okay, because it's pretty apparent what the clean boxing program is. A complete farce. Uh, I have nothing else to say about this. Uh, it's really unfortunate 
for honestly fighters that now have to deal with this. Like every fighter now should be on notice that they need to look at all their contracts. They need to look at their a clean boxing program uh, contract or agreement and see exactly what they just signed up to and what exactly they are required and not required of. Oh, for sure. It's when I saw it in the word, I was like, wait, oh my God, that, that's just incredible. <laughs> it's just insane. Uh, yeah, just a very weird situation. But I mean, the WBC were out there. Um, Mauricio done a, like a meet and greet with media, and he was talking about transparency um, and all, you know, all kinds of things. I mean, their, their situation on that World Boxing Super Series was uh, about the standard of they couldn't, um, what was his wording? Something like uh, sort of guarantee the standard of the officials. Um, as it turned out, you know, Robert mm-hmm. Bird, you know, eventually tried to break up before the knockout blow, but at 74 years old, he took his time getting there, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, you know, talking about transparency, I mean, I tweeted out today, then maybe you shouldn't have. Um, the CEO of Heyman Sports on your Supreme Council um, panel. If you're looking for that, that would be a start, right? For transparency. But uh, yeah, very, very weird uh, situation with the uh, Povetkin Wilder um, lawsuit to find a loophole like that. And then they, they're keeping the money. The money's all good. So yeah absolutely incredible at this you know level the top level of sport the the wording yeah air quotes top, um, yeah air quote, top level well all right we're talking world championship level boxing but yeah yeah i'm talking about like top level like sanction bodies like regulatory yeah. bodies like that yeah. top level testing top level regulation yeah Jesus I mean, uh, Frank <laughs> Frank Warren this week was talking about he'd like to see a couple of the sanctioning bodies dropped. I'm guessing he wants to keep the WBC and the WBO. <laughs> Hold on, quickly, Jonathan, Jonathan, do not come in here and spread that propaganda. Fury tested for multiple substances. One of them yeah. was an anabolic fucking steroid. It wasn't just cocaine. Stop. Stop. I don't want any of that bullshit propaganda. Don't. Don't make excuses for Fury. Don't compare him to Benavides, who only popped for cocaine. Stop. Let's not let's not make false equivalences here about PDs. Let's not. Bullshit. Um, yep. Yeah. So, Fu? Here's what I'll say. It, we need these boxers to understand that they give the belts legitimacy. The belts don't make a fighter. Like, there's nothing special about having one of these belts like they make all the money for these people if wilder took the wc bc belt threw it in the trash and said he was going to vacate it and do all of his fights he'd still have the fans he has watching his fights to see him knock somebody out the wbc would just lose millions of dollars that's what would happen so the real answer to this is for the fighters to just fucking say they're not gonna they're not even gonna do all the extra shit they got to do to be ranked in these sanctioning bodies or to fight for these belts and all that shit. That's where the power is, is in the boxer's hands. So as soon as they decide that they're not going to put up with this bullshit and make some changes there, that's where we would see the sanctioning bodies get tougher on things or do things that were actually beneficial for the fighters. But it, it's like so, all of these guys want to have one of these belts. They don't care. They don't care how screwed all over they get foo i mean you know if boxers had that much class solidarity we would have a fucking fighter union by now yeah that's just the god honest truth but that's not gonna happen moving on i hope wilder doesn't pay the fucking money or just they just it'll be in litigation forever he probably will have to pay at least the legal fees yeah of pavekin that that's probably what's gonna happen right because pavekin wasn't suing wilder wilder was suing pavekin for uh i believe like a certain sum so if Wilder lose, I think he'd just have to pay for the the the, gotcha. the, the, the legal fees of Pavekin, most likely, yeah. from from my very brief knowledge of being in the court system. Uh, I thought I had heard somebody say something like Pavetkin was, if he won, he would be owed the purse that he was denied because. But that's Wilder that wouldn't be Wilder Wilder. paying him though. Gotcha. That would be network promoter somebody else. Cool. Um, 
Thank you.